a bigger one for our God, Kuiti Mang Kutafalo and Mr. Brown Mujapilo. A bigger one for our God as they'll be coming to share. As you clap, your testimony is in line for sure. Shalom, please tell us your name. Be brief to the point and tell us what God of elevation has done in your life. Shalom, royalty. My name is Ar Pampa. I'd first of all like to appreciate the presence of my spiritual parents, mommy and daddy. I celebrate you. The pastors, ministers, and the royal family at large, I celebrate you too. So my first testimony is of elevation. Um, around about last year crossover, I was arriving from work, my then work. And prior to that, I had prayed and fast for the crossover. So daddy called um, for people that had prayed for the crossover and just fasted for it. And the scripture that he gave us was Ephesians 3 verse 21. And I held on to that word. I absorbed myself in it. And I've seen God um, take me through that scripture throughout this year. I've seen him take me through from, no, Ephesians 3.20. I've seen him take me through from um, various jobs and fulfilling me to being where I am right now. And I'd really, really like to thank God because he has fulfilled all my expectations, even those that I didn't think he would fulfill. And for that, I'd really, really like to thank God for the fulfillment of declaration. My second testimony is of expectation fulfillment. Every year in this house, we're given slips to write what we'd expect to celebrate towards each and every end of year, right? And so for the longest of time, I've always wanted to have a nail business, but for some particular good reason, I had hindrances. And towards our many impartation services that we had in December and November, Daddy said he quoted or rather he brought to remembrance Habakkuk 2 verse 2, and he said, the vision will speak till the end, and that we should not lose hope. And I really held on to that word, and I remember on the last service of the year, Minister Eunice prayed for me, and she said, um, "We pray that sh I pray that all your desires are perfected. I held on to that word, and on the 20th of December, I was able to buy literally everything that I needed for my nail business, and I've never felt so fulfilled. And the miracle part of it is that the whole year I had money, but for some reason I couldn't buy these things. And so I'd like to thank God for the words that were declared upon my life and that have come to fulfillment. Um, I rushed through my last two testimonies. Um, I remember during one of the Night of Wonders, um, the title was Only Believe. And I felt this word sink in my heart. And from time to time, God would um, bring the scripture of signs and wonders will follow those that believe. And so, in as much as so many times I said testimonies of how God has healed me, this one was different because when I prayed, God brought back the remembrance of the scripture that I need to believe that he will heal me. I had a very terrible and intense um, headache. And at that moment, I literally felt it dissolve instantly. And I'd like to thank God for the teachings of this house that empower us to know that we too can pray for ourselves and be healed. Uh, my last testimony is our favor in the marketplace. Mommy would say it over and over again in her teachings that we need to pursue mentorship the same way we are uh, mentored in the house and ETC, you know. So during this December, I joined a competition on social media for um, coaching and mentorship, and I believed God to make it through in order for me to advance myself personally in the upcoming year of ownership. And I'd really, really like to thank God because I found favor in the marketplace, and I'll be embarking in that journey next year. He's a God that fulfills every weight. Shalom, please tell us your name and the testimony, please. Shalom royalty. Firstly, I'd like to appreciate the presence of my spiritual parents. Mom and dad, I celebrate you. My name is Aboko Elizabeth Kolahano, and I have two testimonies. I'll start with the testimony of healing. I had a, a wound on my right hand as if I was growing a, a sixth finger. So I prayed to God to say, I don't know what this is, but God, please do something with it. And I just ignored it. And as time went on, it started peeling off and peeling off and 
as if that was not enough, I was, it started growing on my left hand, on the small finger. I was like, God, what is this? I believed in God. I kept on praying and said, God, you need to heal this. You healed it on my right hand, so you need to feel, heal it on my left hand. And it just disappeared. For It started disappearing, and the wounds are not there anymore. My second testimony is of um, job opportunity. On the 2nd of December, I went to some organization and dropped uh, my applications. And on the 3rd, I was called for an interview. And on the 4th, I was hired. So be, on, prior to being hired, you have to, go some, you have to undergo some training and write a test. So I went through training for nine days. And on the 10th day, I, I wrote my test. And I did exceptionally well. And I was hired from that day, and I'd really like to appreciate God for that. He's a God of favor. Shalom Royalty, uh, Mami and Dedia celebrate you and the royal family. My name is Huitza Mankwitza Falo. I would like to share uh, my testimony of today, the testimony of elevation. Uh, the prophecy that was given for the year was, the, was declared as 2020, 2023 is the year of ownership. This one was declared the year of elevation. On January 1st, um, when I was here, I never thought the things that I would write in my expectation sleep, you know, would actually come to pass as big as they were. But I wrote it anyway, just like, you know, sometimes you just write like a baby who's, who people ask you, what do you want to be? Like, I want to be an astronaut. So th that's how I wrote. But to the glory of God, of all the 12 things that I wrote, God fulfilled nine out of 12 of all of those. And I want to... And, and I want to briefly rush through all of them. Uh, the first one, God bought me a car this very year. Um, the second one, a good car, by the way. Um, this, the second one, I, I got married gloriously in this house. The, the beautiful lady that you saw that was greeting you, that's my wife at the, at the door. And then also, I've never enjoyed financial abundance like I have in this year. I bought a car without even feeling it. So number, the, the fourth one is um, I've been doing a feature on radio on RB2 every Monday for 30 minutes. I was volunteering my time for all the three years. And then this year, to the glory of God, the management called me and they said, we cannot let you go. We want to promote you and give you an, a, a full-time job as a radio presenter. <laughs> And then the other one, uh, my family members uh, came to give their life to Christ right here on the Night of Wonders. I would like to thank God for that also. I wrote that I, wrote that I want to travel the world, all expenses paid, uh, to speak to crowds of different decision makers, government people, and so, and so on and so forth. God created the GJK Africa tour, and I was in, in, in Lesotho. That has been fulfilled by God. Um, I wrote on this one, I wrote Lee Jokey Lee. I had about 27,000 followers on Facebook, and I said to God, I want you to, dub, to double my, my followership. And as we speak, God has made my page to have over 40,000 people. And then the other one, I wrote, uh, I wrote that I want to have high-profile relationships with high-profile organizations all around the world. I want to meet the global business community and do business with them. God put me on Forbes 30 and the 30, and that fulfilled all of that. The last one is I was staying in a house that you cannot visit me in because of the state of my brand. You will not respect me. Uh, so I wrote, I wrote that I want to live in a very comfortable house that God can take care of me and I can visit you to come to my house. And as I speak, I was coming from that house with my wife and I would like to thank God for that. Shalom Royalty. Firstly, I would like to appreciate my spiritual parents, pastors, ministers, deacons, and everyone in, in, in church. My testimony is of divine protection. On the 24th, I decided to leave early to my home village, which is Mahalap. But before I, I left, uh, in the evening, I checked on the, the wheels and everything. I found out that one of my tires is stuck with a screw. Then when I thought of removing the screw, I realized that it will, is going to obviously lose pressure. So I decided to leave it and check it in the morning if it has lost some pressure or any kind of slow punch. But in the morning, the car was fine. So we decided to, to live with my, my wife to 
traveling home. On our way after the end of the dual road, I, I experienced a puncture. Then I said, oh my God, there's a puncture. And the car was trying to misbehave, but I, I hold it under control. After that, those, you know these cars that do not come with spare wheel is another, you know, another problem, another challenge. I realized that, ah, I don't have a spare wheel. Then I had to remove the car and hike to Muchu, to Pilani, to fix the car, then put it back and proceed with my journey. When we got to Mahalape, I had an inspiration to switch the tires because it was the front tire. I just switched it, and then we enjoyed our stay in Mahalape. After some time, we decided to leave for Palape. But on our way to Palapi, we were just chatting with my wife. I told her that, you know what? I, I don't trust this tire. So we have to remove it and get a, a new tire. So we, proceed, we proceeded to Palape, no problem. We stayed there. The following day, we decided to embark on another journey, now to the cattle post. Using the same car, now it was on the 26th. So uh, almost every uh, shop or tire fixers, they were closed. So we, used the, we, we went to the cattle post, we stayed there. On our way back, now I was more comfortable because I drove from uh, Matsieng to Mahalape to Palape without anything. I was more comfortable. Now I decided to stretch my leg. So <laughs> along, when I was, there was a long track ahead of me. So I took it over, then I overtook it. The moment I get to the other side of the road, then there was a sound of poof. So everyone was like, hey, man. And then I said, no, it's the tire. You know, that's when I relaxed. When I checked my clock reading, it was on 120. I said, oh, my God. Then I, I relaxed more and more and more. My wife was like, oh, God will help us. God will help us as soon as he will. So I, I relaxed more and tried to hold on the steering wheel forgot about the brakes. Those drivers, they, do, they know that when you experience a puncture at a high speed, what do you have to do? So I relaxed, then I managed to take the car under control until I managed to stop it and fix the car. Then I realized that, no, it can only be God. The speed that I was traveling in, the cars that were coming, even the truck that I was about to pass, only God knows. I don't know where would I be. i here to return all the glory to God. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for the testimonies. God continues to do great things in the midst of us. Other testimonies are of our fellow brethren, Minister Kitsoe Kebabe's gift well or turnaround miracle. She says, Shalom, I want to thank God for a miracle that has happened. God has blessed me with a car that I personally wouldn't have ever bought for myself. I was gifted. Mm. Mm. A total turnaround miracle. Ownership season has definitely began for me. All praise is due unto God. Psalms 126 has happened just in that manner. To God be all the glory. Another testimony, it's Malice Teddy, is a testimony of thanksgiving. She says, Shalom, royal family. I celebrate dad and mom, the pastors and the ministers and the church at large. My family and I would like to give thanks unto God. On the 18th of December, after our last service of the year, we got blessed with a full Christmas grocery hamper. Indeed, we ended our year very well in preparation of 2023. We return all the glories to God. A big one for our God. Hallelujah. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, he says, I'm the Lord your God, I change not. The same God who has done it for them is definitely in this place to do it for you. If you open your heart, you shall surely enjoy it in the mighty name of Jesus. With that being said, I want us to lift up our voice and appreciate God for all the testimonies. For whatever God does, you can provoke it by thanksgiving for him to do it in your life. Let's just lift up our voice of thanksgiving and appreciate God for all the testimonies. Father, we thank you, we bless your name, we give 
you all the praise. We give you all the adoration, Father, for you are worthy to be praised. Thank you for the testimonies of gift world. You are Jehovah Rapha. You have indeed healed them, O Heavenly Father. Not unto us, Lord, not unto us, but to you be all the glory, O Jehovah. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Our God is an awesome God. As we proceed with the program, I want us to tune to the screens as we reflect and see the faithfulness of God in Royal Camp. Give God a big clap offering. We thank you. As the scriptures would say, the Lord God doeth nothing except that he reveals it to his servants, the prophets. Thank you for speaking to us as a church that we are entering a season of In the name of Jesus, just as you help the Israelites to overcome the Canaanites, the Jebusites, and all that occupied their Canaan, so shall you help us to overcome every stranger in our land of ownership. So shall you help us to overcome the giants in our Canaan land. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. we own all things. For the Bible says all things are ours. And so we decree as the heirs of God. All Hallelujah. Praise be to God. The word of God says, believe the Lord your God, you will be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Can somebody say amen? amen. It is offering time. Offering time is indeed blessing time. And as we prepare to give tonight, kindly take note of the following. To those that are visiting, the envelope that you received is for your convenience, uh, that you package your offering. Please label it accordingly. Those that are giving electronically, the details will be displayed on the screen for your convenience. And those that have their tithes with them uh, tonight or you have uh, uh, paid your tithes throughout the course of the week, please, after the prayer, proceed to the altar to receive your priestly blessing. Hallelujah. Kindly tent with me. Philistines envied him. Hallelujah. For Isaac to enjoy enviable blessing and possessions in that time, he did two things. Number one, he heard the instruction of God and obeyed that instruction. Not to go down to Egypt, but to remain in the presence of God. Number two, he sowed when it did not make sense to sow. So I would like everyone that is expecting in this season of ownership to possess your possessions to keep your ear on the ground for every instruction that god gives you tonight whatever he tells you to sow sow it hallelujah with that understanding kindly rise up on your feet with your offering as i pray Father, we thank you for every gift, every seed that is sown tonight. You are a covenant-keeping keeping God. You said, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and summer shall not cease. So we decree that over these seeds, the kind of blessing that will cause the Philistines to envy us, 
is coming upon our lives in Jesus' name. By these offerings, we are possessing all our possessions in this season of ownership. Say amen and amen. Those that have their ties with them, kindly proceed to the altar as we hand over to Tehillah as we give the Lord to the Lord with joy. Yeah, 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 yeah. for the privilege, the opportunity to honor you with our substance in response to your word that of every blessing we should honor you with our tithe. You said you will open the windows of heaven, you will pour out blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. I decree that every tithe at this evening is blessed in the name of Jesus. I release supernatural help upon you just as you have responded to the word of God. May God respond to your needs, your dreams, and your desires in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the blessing of God is your portion. As you are living this year, obeying the scriptures, you will enter the new year to experience the validity of the word of God in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, you shall be the joy of many generations. Whatever you put your hands to do is blessed. You will prosper in all things. No evil will be spoken of concerning you in the name of Jesus. I call you blessed. A multiple fold blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Let's put our hands together as they drop their tithe and be on their way back. be comfortably seated. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment we'll have a special act by our very own. Please listen as we welcome Matla Phillips to the stage. A big clap offering for our God even as she'll be proceeding to the stage. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? your hands.
I find you in the mystery. Come on. An ocean sea, my faith will stand. Come on, make it your prayer. And I will call upon your name, Jesus, and keep my eyes above the waves. When oceans rise, my soul rests in your embrace, for I am yours. Come on. And you Breath. 
put your hands together celebrate the Lord Jesus hallelujah as we go on with the program prepare to receive our very own anointed graced by God Melissa put your hands together for Jesus Make it louder for the noise, one for the Lord, one more time. Come on, hallelujah! That was a beautiful performance. Hey, <laughs> mommy and daddy, thank you for this opportunity.